Hi everyone. Now we're going to continue with example two in related race. Sample two. A water tank has the shape of an inverted circular cone with base radius two meter and high four meter. If water is being pumped into the tank at a rate of two cubic meter per minute, find the rate at which the water level is rising. When the water is three meter, so this is a related rate problem. We're given the water is being pumped into the tank at this rate, and we try to find the rate at which the water level is rising. So this rate and this rate are related. First, we sketch the cone and enter all the given information. So we have radius here is two meter. The height of this cone is four meter. Water is being pumped into the tank at the rate of two cubic meter per minute, and that is corresponding to the rate that the volume of the water is increasing. As you pump water into the cone, the water inside the cone is increasing at two cubic meter per minute. The first step is to declare variables. So we let v to be the volume of the water. We let r to be the radius of the surface of the water inside the cone. And let h to be the height of the water at time t, and we let t to be the time measured in minutes. After you have declared the variables, we will write down what are given and what are we trying to find. Over here, we know the volume. Of the water is increasing at a rate of two cubic meter per minute, so that is dv dt. That's the change of the volume with respect to the time t. We are trying to find the rate at which the water level is rising when the high h is equal to three meter. So the high is this. High of this water body. When the high here is equal to three meter, we want to find how fast is this h over here. The water level here is going up. So this is a rate of change. Is the rate of change of h with respect to the time t? And we denote that as dH dt. We are given the rate of change dV dt to be two cubic meter per minute. So that's how fast the water volume is increasing. We are trying to find dH dt when h is equal to three meter. So we are trying to relate these two rate changes. First, we're going to relate the volume with h. Remember, we have reviewed the volume for a circular cone is v equal to one third pi r squared times h. We have related the volume over here with The h, using the volume formula for a circular cone. However, this problem is a little bit different from our last example because over here, both r and h are changing. They are variable change as time t change. As the time change, this r here is going to change. And also, h is going to change. 
We are not given the weight of change of this R. We are not given the R dt. So it is better that we can express this R in terms of H. So that we can express this V as a function of the high H alone. So we want this V to be expressed as a function of H only. So how can we express this R in terms of H? To express R in terms of H, we look at the two yellow highlighted triangle. They are similar triangle. When two triangles are similar, the ratio of the corresponding side are equal. So we have 2 over 4 is equal to r over h, which reduce to 1 half. So r is equal to 1 half times h. And we have v is equal to 1 third pi r squared times h. Now we substitute r equal to 1 half h into r. Simplifying this, we got v is 1 over 12 times pi h q. Now we have expressed this v as a function of h only. We now differentiate both sides with respect to the time t so that we can solve for dh dt at the end and we can relate that with dv dt. Differentiate the right side with respect to t. We can bring out this 1 over 12 times pi as a constant multiple to the front of the, the word t times the word t of hq with respect to t. Over here, hq is a composite of two functions. The outer function is the cube function. The duality of hq with respect to h is 3h square. The inner function is h. It is a function of the time t. h change as t here change. The duality h with respect to t is dh dt. Simplifying, we get pi h squared over 4 times dh dt. We are trying to solve for dh dt. So we can solve this and express that in terms of dv dt. We got 4 over pi h squared times dv dt. We now substituting h equal to 3 meter and dv dt equal to 2 cubic meter per minute. We got dh dt is equal to 4 over pi times 3 squared times 2, which simplifies to 8 over 9 pi meter per minute. At the end, write a complete sentence to answer the question that this problem asks. You write it as, the water level is rising at the rate of 8 over 9 pi meter per minute, which is about 0.28 
meter per minute.